Hello and welcome to this session. Today I want to show you how to create GitLab instance using Docker. Fortunately, GitLab provides an official image that you can pull and run. This would be the command to run the image. This is the official name, GitLab AA, and the last version. And let me explain the other options. So they detached more and H, this is the name of the guest machine. And you will need to publish this port for SSL connection and the ET port as well. And the 22 port for the SSH. And this is the name for your container. We enable restarts. It means we can reuse the container. This is the most important things in order to make the change persistible you need to remove the relevant directory from the container into the host machine. Therefore, you will have to create a folder on your host machine. In my case, is on dev docker data gitlab and you define this environment variable and you see here this is for configuration normally they are located in the container under this directory logs and the data as well after that you need to specify the shared memory in my case i'm using four gigabytes you can choose another size depending on your resources and this is the image name so let's run this command let's create the directory and let's run the docker command so i prepared the script this is the script so as shown here this is the script so we will export this variable here and use it inside our docker command so let's run the script and you see enable to find it will load all needed image layers it will take some time because the docker image is relatively big about one two gigabyte the server is not yet up let's wait so what we can do we can check our ip address so this is my ip address let's have a look again on the logs so the server we don't see any message here saying that the server is up and running you need to wait it takes unfortunately long in meanwhile we can try access the server the server is not yet ready let's wait so it takes long even on my macbook you should be really very patient because it takes long it takes several minutes let's see try to access the server ah not yet it's too much time to respond we have to wait and now i'm able to see so really it took very long so you should be very patient yeah let's do a test let's try to access the ui using the browser ah, and you see the server is available and the user by default you, you need to use the admin user or the root user and the passport can be found under this location let me show you so the password is under this location we created this directory we mapped the folder from the container into the host and under config and you see this file initial root password so let's look inside it and this is the password root the password sign in so unfortunately the server is slow so we are inside the first thing you can change the password here in its profile and here on the left side, you see password, they change. This is the current one. You can choose whatever you want. And now what we can do, we can go to this menu. We can create new user, admin. So in this main menu, admin. And then users, let's create new one, demo. Reset, we can change the password afterward. Let's create the user user has been created edits the user and change the password here save we can now log out and sign in as this demo user and you are required to to enter a new password and you need to log in again and you are ready to create new project for your ci cd pipelines and so on i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching and bye